So it is Tuesday morning and I got up super early to go to the airport. Luckily there was no lines and I was able to get a few memory cards in duty free because I had a few hours to kill. And then when I was boarding the plane, I don't know if it got on video, but the staircase was literally shaking with the wind. I don't know how we all didn't fall off, but I am going for a very exciting business meeting. I can't tell you guys about it yet. Well, I guess I could since I, since I am my own boss, but I just don't like to um, say anything until it comes to fruition, just from working on creative jobs in the past and, you know, life in general. But I guess it's a little crazy to think about. Um, the last time I was in an airport was when I came home during COVID. I was living in New York. I thought I'd be there for a long time. And if you told me two years ago that the next time I'd be traveling is because of my brand to, you know, hopefully expand it in, in some way, I just, I wouldn't have believed you, so I'm very excited to go to London, very excited to see what this meeting will bring, and afterwards I have a few hours to kill, so I'm going to bring you guys along, I don't know what I'm going to get up to, I don't know if London is going to be crazy. With the influx of people, it's obviously a very sad time for the UK right now. We made these work commitments before everything happened and I checked with the people I was having the meeting with and they were still open today so I wanted to stick to my work commitments. I have really no idea what this day will bring but I'm excited to show you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll meet up with you after my meeting. Okay, hopefully um, this is recording through these microphones because it's very noisy. I'm lost in London. I have a business meeting today. It's been planned for a week. Obviously the timing is not great in terms of everything that's happened. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna talk to you when I find where I'm meant to be. I'll talk to you after my meeting. Take you around London. Okay, I really hope you can hear me um, through these little microphones. If not, I'll just have the subtitles, but um, the meeting went really well. I think it lasted like, what I got there at 11.30, it's three now, so what, like three and a half hours. Um, really, really well. It's also raining, and the reason I have my sunglasses on in the rain is because my hay fever is so bad. It's always like this wherever I travel. The first day, it just, I guess, a new environment, it just makes my eyes act up so much. So now I'm just gonna get on the train and go into town. Um, I'm just gonna go around fabric shops. I really want to go to the Tate, but I just don't think I'd make it. I'm also so wrecked right now. I need to sit down and have a coffee. Just missed of my train. Saw it leaving the station, so that's fun. But yeah, I'm just gonna go into into the city, get a coffee, go over what's like what's the most important for me to do in my remaining time. I think I am just gonna go around fabric shops and have a dash shops because there is something very specific I need to get. Um, but first things first is I actually need to find out what train I'm getting so I don't get lost in London. I th I'm pretty sure, I keep saying lost in London, but I'm pretty sure that is Mary Kay Nash maybe. So I got my coffee, didn't record that, and I went to Yo Mama, which um, if you ever, if you remember, was in Dundrum, they closed down, and I never got a chance to go to it, so I went to the one in Selfridges, 
Um, I ran in there when it started to rain. It was good. I mean, it was just average sushi, but everywhere else had long lines or you couldn't sit. They were just like takeout options and I needed to sit down and here is just a video of me eating the sushi. Wow, beautiful shot. Anyway, I found out that Selfridges was having an exhibit through multiple floors in their department store called Super Futures, just exploring how we will expand sustainability in the near future. This part of the ex exhibit was by artist Jan, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Jan Foriesque. I'll put it down below and he made this black maze for Otto Linger's Autumn Winter 22 show and there is a video of the actual fashion show it's really cool to explore and see the clothes that were in it that was probably the biggest part of the exhibit there was also this really creepy um face from Gentle Monster their sunglass brand and then I was on my way So I'm walking down the street because it's less awkward, but the minute I got into the tube, or metro tube, I was wrecked. I can barely keep my eyes open. Um, so I just got off and went into Selfridges because it was like the one store I knew um, and just had something to eat. I just had something to eat and I was like, I actually just came to the conclusion like I can't shop for fabric or her haberdashery right now because I just buy something to buy something like to feel accomplished being like, oh, I went to London, which is like this amazing, you know, city um, for fashion. So I did just nearly have a four hour meeting and I've been up since five. I just feel like there's this weird thing of being like, this weird thing of like always having to work when you have an opportunity like this but I have what two more hours three more hours before I have to go to the airport so I think I'm just gonna have a nice walk maybe get a coffee or something just window shop with no like I've done my work for the day and then that's it even though usually I do a lot more than three hours. It's just the traveling exhausted me and getting up so early. So I'm just gonna enjoy today. So just went while well, I was meant to go window shopping, but I found this really cute bucket hat that matched my corduroy trousers. And then I went to Penhaligans, which was stunning. It was so beautiful and everything smelled great. And then I just stuck to Oxford Circus. I went into Liberties. It was way too busy to film in there and I, I'm don't want to get people's faces and got another massive coffee and just admired the artwork the architecture that is in London then I had to make my way back to the airport and the airport kept telling us to go two hours before our flight even though it's a very short flight because of the security queues happening right now because I guess they don't have that much airport staff but I got in both times like in 15 minutes so I just wandered around duty free. I got a few things from my mum because she never buys anything for herself. I also tried not to feel too guilty about not getting as much work done as I wanted. I mean I went there for the sole purpose of this meeting and then just added on things that I wanted to take advantage of while I was in London. I feel like as a small business owner sometimes you feel like you need to monetize every moment possible when you have an opportunity for your business but I think sometimes you have to listen to your body which was probably smart in this situation because the next morning I have to be up for another very important round table that I'm excited to go to. And this is me now, finally getting home. The plane was delayed, cannot wait to get into bed.